As you can see, sequencing on the MV8800 is pretty simple, and if you're already an MV8000 user, you'll feel right at home. Now some of you may have an audio CD that you want to rip from. Here's how quick the MV8800 does it. To rip samples from an audio CD, follow these simple steps. Insert your audio CD into the CD tray. Now press the Import button. Press F1 to select the drive. Select Audio CD from the menu box and press Enter. A listing of all the tracks on your CD should appear. You can cursor up and down to select different audio tracks and press F4 to preview them. If you want to import multiple tracks at once, use the Mark On Off feature to mark multiple tracks and then press F5 to import. I'm going to only select one file and now press F5 to import. You'll now notice the set time box appears. This allows you to set a specific time location within the audio track that you want to rip. This helps to save RAM memory and also cuts down on the amount of sample editing you'll have to do. Once you have your in and out time set, press F5 to execute. You should now see the result window with the waveform display of the audio you just ripped. Set your start and end points just like before. Press F3 to quick assign. In this next window, you'll see you'll have the option to either choose audio phrase, patch, or auto chop. I can use the drum loop as an audio phrase, but I'm going to use the auto chop feature by pressing F1 to create a chopped drum kit. Now press F3 to select Auto Chop again. Make sure in the Chop Type section that Level is selected. Now press F5 to execute. You'll now notice my drum loop has been chopped up into separate sample slices and mapped to the pads automatically. Now press F5 to assign to patch. Select an empty part. I'll use Part 3 and press F5 to execute. Let's create a new MIDI track and assign the chopped kit to it. Press the pattern button to return to the main screen. Press menu. Select add MIDI track and press enter. The add MIDI track box should appear. Assign the chopped drum kit in the output assign section by using the cursor and value wheel. Press F5 to execute. This is very useful for remixing and is the most important creative process used by most hip-hop producers today.